Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20! that I've spent probably 80% of Vlogmas in a bathrobe. So my goal today is not to be seen in a bathrobe at all. So I'm already dressed for the day. So today's outfit is just a Ralph Lauren denim button down, an old navy sweater. These are my favorite. And then I have on just a pair of J. Crew navy skinny cropped trousers. And I can't believe I've never talked about these, but these are one of my all time favorite shoes. They are the Clark suede moccasins and they come in some really cool colors. I have them in green and I have them in like a camely brown, but they are truly the best shoes. I love them for summer, fall. I kind of transition them all season long. Today our goal is to shop locally um, with one trip to home goods but we are just going to go check out some stores that I haven't checked out before see if we can get some last-minute clever ideas for Steven for Christmas and then lastly just see what else we find I don't think Bubby is feeling that great today he's kind of been mopey he didn't eat his treat he didn't eat his cookie and I keep finding him well there he is just looking out the window I love bugs you don't feel good today. I know you don't feel good. Focus on getting a parking spot because that's not going to be easy, but luckily my car parks itself. So my car just has to scan for a spot and then it'll park me. Yeah, that's a true story. This car does it all. I'm just showing you guys, my car is parking itself right now. Like, true story. Too, but we'll be going back to all the time. I can't show you like most of the things I bought because they're gifts for Steven and he does watch every single vlog. So um, yeah, I can't show you those. So I'll show you what I did pick up. I ended up getting these hysterical Jane Austen socks because I love Jane Austen and why not wear Jane Austen socks around the house. And then I also got this Jane Austen coffee mug, which Steven is going to kill me because the last thing we need is a coffee mug, but it's just so stinking cute. So I got this really cool Jane Austen mug. Let's go outside. Go ahead, buttons. I'm amazed you did not even try to touch a gingerbread house. It was a good boy. I still have not put the gingerbread house together only because I don't know how. I know you're all gonna think I'm the biggest bum, but I am going to go put on comfortable clothes and I'm unapologetic about it. <laughs> I feel like 80% of my vlogs are me saying I'm gonna put on something comfortable because when I'm home, I just wanna be comfortable. It's my favorite place to be, so why would I not be comfortable? All right, so that's happening. Just eat some lunch and 
I stopped by the P.O. Box on my way home, and there were all these cards and these two packages. And this package here is from Jennifer Ross at Pretty Neat Living. I about lost my mind. Um, there are a handful of people that I just want to take a second to acknowledge. Um, and I'll leave them all linked down below, but Christy Russell, who collaborated with me when my channel was just beginning, and she is an awesome human being and has been nothing but amazing. Then there's Haley Cairo, who I've mentioned so many times, who has supported me from the very, very beginning. And then there are people who have recently really supported the channel, and that is Happily a Housewife, Samantha. Thank you so much. I'm now hooked on your channel as well. Then Christina Brawley has supported the channel, has commented and shouted it out. Then there's Miss Gold Girl, Marnie Goldberg, who has become a true gift over the last week and a half. Um, and she's been really supportive of the channel. And her and I began texting and getting to know each other as friends. And I adore her. And then, of course, Jen Ross. The fact that you did this, Jen, says so much about you as a human being. But you have been so supportive and have shouted out the channel so many times. It's just, could you be any nicer? Like, why in the world would you even do this? Um, but I'm just overwhelmed and so incredibly blessed. And I just hope that you all know that like, I take none of this for granted and none of this exists without any of you. Um, so be prepared because I'm probably going to cry because that's what I do. This video will become like 17 hours long if I read every single one, but I'm gonna do my best. Merriest of Christmas to you and yours. Christopher, I just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas and to let you know I adore your positive and warm fuzzies. I know Vlogmas has been tiresome for you, but I look forward to checking in with you every day. Thank you for sharing yourself with me and others. Nadia, you're so welcome. I'm actually debating on, cause I, as much work as it is, and I have, Marnie and I were just texting about this the other day. I think it was yesterday. And I was like, I'm so tired of Vlogmas, it's so much. Um, I'm going to miss it too. I could never become like a daily vlogger, but I'm going to miss it. I, I know most stop Vlogmas um, on Christmas day. I'm thinking of doing the entire month of December. Um, let me know if you guys would want me to do that. This is from Gina. Dear Christopher, Stephen and Bubba's, I appreciate you and all your inspiration you give through, you've given through the year. Wanted to say thank you so very much. I enjoy your vlogs. Wishing you Stephen and Bubba's all the best the holiday can offer. Peace, joy, and love with your families. With sincere appreciation for your friendship and goodwill. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Gina, that's so sweet. I can't stop smiling when I do this. Here we go. Here come the waterworks. I can feel them in behind my eyes, getting ready to pour out my face. And this is from Kim. Christopher, Stephen, and Bubba's. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas, a happy and healthy new year. Christopher, your YouTube channel and community has been such a profoundly positive impact on my life. I am a better person having found you. And that is the message from so many of you, which means that the impact of it is so massive because you guys go out and are better people and then you impact others and it's just too cool. Happy New Year. I'm watching day 13 as I fill out this card. I wish you happiness today and every day. All of you. Love and best wishes, Pam. Pam, thank you. I hope you enjoyed day 13. I can't even remember what day 13 was. We're on day 20 now. That was last week. I don't even know what day 13. I don't, probably one of the ones where I was like, this is so boring. I'm sorry that you're wasting your time watching this. Dear Christopher, thank you for your channel. Your message resonates with all of us. My entire family loves your vlogs. We hope 2018 is a banner year for all of you. Nancy and family. <gasps> Nancy, the fact that you watch it with your whole entire family blows my mind and makes me so happy. Everyone who like says like, I watch this with my kids, I watch this with my husband, I watch this with my sister or my mom, like, that is the coolest thing that like this channel can bring you guys together and that you get to share like that 12, 18 minutes together. That's just the best. This is from Spencer. Spencer, your handwriting is immaculate. 
He, I'm, I'll read the card, but at the end it says, P.S. Do not lock yourself outside again. I would be especially sad if my favorite YouTuber froze to death. <laughs> For the past few months, I've been dealing with personal health problems and my grandmother having stage 4 cancer. However, watching your videos has really helped me stay positive and express happiness throughout the day. Your positivity truly is contagious and has helped me be happy for what I have even though my illness and to enjoy every moment I have with my grandmother. Enjoy every moment. You really make every day feel like a blessing. I have especially loved your Vlogmas series. Not only is it amazing that you've been able to upload every day so far, but I love waking up, making a cup of hot chocolate, and watching your vlogs. I know that Vlogmas has been hard, but at the same time, I don't want it to end because I love your videos so much. Please keep up the great work. Your following may be small now, but I know it'll grow. You will inspire thousands of us and deserve nothing short of a million followers. That is so incredible, Spencer. And you, I want to go back to one line you said. You said, you really make every day feel like a blessing. That's because it is every day, every single day, and you never get to redo it. You never get a makeup, so why make it a lousy day? I found your channel about six months ago and it has given me inspiration and hope for all of us. I'm loving your vlogmas and get so much joy from watching each evening. Your sweet smile, kind voice just bring me joy and fun. You are a kind soul and a shining light in a hectic, sometimes frantic world. I wish I could start every morning with a five minute conversation with you. I would be a better person for it. Hope you, Stephen and Bubba's, have a wonderful Christmas. I can't handle this. And please wish your mom the same for me. I will. I, I just talked to her earlier, but I will call her back and let her know. I am, I am holding back the tears just so everyone is really aware. They are like ready to spill out my face. Laura, you asked me not to read this on video, so I would 100% always honor that, but I am going to just read it to myself right now. Oh, Laura, so you're the one who got me to cry. Your hot chocolate will never be the same again. Indulge in joy. Jill made a comment that I threw like jiffy like marshmallows in a cup of hot chocolate. She said, I am sending you my homemade marshmallow. She also sent Steven some. Jill, I am totally going to enjoy this. Uh, thank you so, so much. Ah, I can't wait. All right, Jen Ross, here we go. I do not understand why you would even do this. But I enjoyed your content and powerful message of choosing kindness so much this year. Thank you for sharing as you do. You are truly a shining light in this world. The real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to make the most of what we have, to be happy with simple pleasures, and have courage when things go wrong. Jen, thank you. I realized after filming for a good 10 minutes that Nothing was actually filming, so just let me show you what Jen sent me. Jen sent me the clay mask, um, which comes in like a little container. So the mask is right here. She sent me the fresh brush for the mask. Oh my gosh, the mask fits in that little container. And then she also sent me her favorite bath bombs and they are brown sugar and um, fig and they are from a brand called Pacha Soap Company. I might be saying it wrong, but look at these bath bombs she sent. I cannot wait to try these, Jen. The smell alone is amazing. And this is one of her favorite candles and it's called Patty Wax and it is tangerine and clove, but look at the beautiful container. Jen, thank you so much. I just, I am overwhelmed by the kindness and support you have shown. Um, you are such a great human being. Thank you. Um, and here I go, getting all emotional again. So I'm just gonna go find something else to do. I'm wearing those Jane Austen socks and they are so comfortable. Then I went to another local store and I found these adorable red icicles that I just added to the tree. And then for our tree over here, I found silver ones. I think they're really, really cute. And then lastly, and Stephen is going to kill me, I found this mug and it stands up like that. 
Is that not precious? I'm going to clean up the disarray of the island and get all that put away. And then actually start thinking about what we should eat for dinner, because I have no idea. But I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Alrighty, we have some advent calendars to open. You've got to be kidding me. It's like a glove that you wear in the bathtub. Oh my goodness. It says out with the old, in with the new. Use this scrub glove to promote new healthy skin. Day 20, carrot cupcake. What do we get here? Uh, Mandarin Glaciel. It's my favorite. 34 is my favorite Diptyque fragrance. There are no words to explain this. It's just everything. Christmas Tingle. Invigorating peppermint and menthol crystals energize the skin with tingly holiday excitement. Currently have Kelly Clarkson Meaning of Life playing on my little Crossley record player. Listening to something on vinyl makes a huge difference. And then I actually put real human being clothes back on. If you're following me on Instagram stories, you know that I'm going to hold off on the cookie today just because I haven't gotten to it. So I'm gonna do two cookies tomorrow. A little Faker McFakerston in the dining room, who's all of a sudden better. I think he has faked it all day. I think he just missed Steven. Did you fake it today? Because all of a sudden he has like a little bounce in his step and life is good. Teenagers. Daddy's home and all of a sudden you're better. I really think he was not sick at all that he just wanted. Steven's gonna say something about me being in real human clothes, I guarantee it. It's chilly in here. A lot of you have asked if Steven and I have help keeping the house clean. Um, the answer is no. We just keep it, we really do just keep it this picked up all the time. Everything in our house has a place, so it's really easy to keep it clean. That's really it, but we have no help, it's just us. He seems miraculously better now that you're home but totally. That's what he does. Why are you all dressed up? <laughs> I, I told you he would say something about me being in real human being clothes because I live in comfortable clothes. Yes. I've yes. spent 80% of Vlogmas in my bathrobe. Yes, so is this like just for Vlogmas? <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I just dressed up for Vlogmas. That's no, no other reason. No, I've been running errands all day oh. and then I was actually, I put on comfortable clothes, was going to run back out because I had an idea for a home decor item. Oh, okay. But now I'm thinking, one to wait for you because I was afraid he might throw up because of the grass. But apparently he's faking it anyway. He was eating, I fed him through the furbo and he was fine. Yeah. Well, you know how he likes to manufacture these medical crises. He might need some doggy probiotics because like Jamie Lee Curtis and Activia, <laughs> well, there's also. Uh, we should call him Jamie Lee tonight. There you go. I think he's such a faker. You're eating now? All right, everyone. I am going to end the vlog here tonight. Steven and I are going to figure out dinner. Um, <laughs> I'm in real close. We could always go out. Um, but I'm going to end it here. And like always, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the lovers.